measuring the nutrient composition of the plants. So we're seeing if there's a difference between the plants up here, their nutrient composition versus the plants all the way down at the end. Um, basically we're learning about how the aquaponic system works and um, about nutrient recycling in a system. So the project is an aquaponic setup. Each setup includes a fish tank and then a grow bed, and then some kind of filtering for two of the tanks and other tanks, the water goes directly from the fish tank into the grow bed. And the idea is to sort of mirror, uh, put together aquaculture with hydroponics, and what's great about this is that it uses the fish waste to fuel the plant growth. And then the plants clean the water so that when it comes back down to the fish, it's relatively clean of mostly uh, nitrogenous waste, so nitrogen uh, species. For me, this is learning all about sustainability and a um, responsible way to grow produce. This is a great way for places that don't have great soil composition, don't have a lot of water resources. Um, this is a really good way because it recycles the water and you can use stuff like this that's uh, not actual soil, so it's a, uh, it's a synthetic substrate. And what's great about this project has all these applications to real life in many different ways. So for example, we have students who are studying water quality, basic water quality. We have students, for instance, who've recently gotten jobs in aquaculture. So anything that they learn here would be immediately applicable to aquaculture or to actually uh, aquaponics. So we have a couple of um, companies in Maine. And so if they were to hire a student who's gone through one of our courses that uses our aquaponics setup, then you know, they're sort of light years ahead of having to be taught everything new. Well, environmental policy, you get a lot of hands-on work, you can do an internship, and um, the professors are very encouraging all the time.